everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So it's April favourites time, this is a time of the month where I get to sort of summarise some of the applications, experiments and things that I've managed to be exploring inside of this month in April. Um, now April's been a bit busier for me, uh, things are starting to kick off. Uh, with the YouTube channel, which is great, and also a couple of other projects that I'm working on. Um, so I'll be able to share a few more of these things uh, on social media. So if you're not following me on Twitter, feel free to add me now. I, I love chatting with you guys on Twitter. Um, but yeah, we've hit 7,000 subscribers on this channel, which is great because now the community is full of uh, you guys out there that love productivity apps, love lifestyle applications, and could share them all over the comments. So it's really, really fantastic. And I thank everyone for the support so far that I've had on this channel. So let's jump into some applications. Let's start with the elephant in the room, not Evernote this time, and Microsoft To Do. Now, weirdly, I predicted this one a month ago and it happened really, really fast. Um, so Wunderlist has now changed over to Microsoft To Do, which is now available in preview. And it's pretty impressive, but has really a lot less features in Wunderlist and also a lot less features than any other competitor in their space. So I'll be continuing the discussion in a separate video. I'm actually going to make a to-do to video which will cover more of this in more detail because I want to share with you the, the sort of ups and downs of this application. So mindfulness, the application I use for meditation, pinged me back after I sent them an email and they've set me up with premium, which is awesome. So I'm going to be checking out their premium experience because this is an application that I highly recommend. They recommend. I actually reviewed them slightly in February, but I'm gonna be doing a full review of their premium very soon. Another experience that I found actually pretty impressive is Simple Note on Mac. Now, a lot of you guys know the application for note-taking called Simple Note. It's pretty basic, hence the name. Uh, and you can't really do too much with it. But on Mac, it is dead gorgeous. It's like one of those minimalist, distraction-free iWriters. Definitely worth checking out. I'll include the information description below. Uh, I just was looking for the Mac app store the other day and I was like, oh my God, Simple Note, I've got a Mac app. Downloaded it and checked it out. And I was like, ooh pretty sweet so definitely worth checking it out in the description below. In terms of events this month I'm actually attending May 8th in London which is a bit rare for me to go up to London but I'm going to see Evernote to do sort of like uh, an event with them which is great so I'll keep you guys posted on that one on social media. I've also hit to do this 50k karma points which is pretty cool. I'm including that video in the description. Um, I'm gonna be announcing the winners very soon, so that, that'll be already happened by the time you watch this video, I'm sure. I wanted to introduce a new section in this April's favorites called Productivity Corner, where I share some of the things at the moment this month that have sort of been on my mind about productivity applications. Now, they'll be sharing more about functions of them, but I just wanted to get and share with you some of those. Now, Sorted was an application that I reviewed about a month ago, but it sort of came up in conversation the other day because I started to detect something that they're doing that I do so naturally. It's a thing called chronological ordering. So I use it on my to-do list. I'm looking at my to-do list now, and I see that I use it because I basically assign everything that I do in my day a time so that when I click on it, everything is there, and I can just see chronologically what I need to complete in a day. Now, Sorted allows you to do that using the function there, and I think that's a really cool option. Although Sorted is like, it's, it's slightly advanced, it's got a layer advancedness of it, it's not specifically as advanced as Todoist for, for now because it's quite new, but this feature is, I think, something people should definitely check it out. Um, I'll include the information in the description to chronological like ordering because I think it is a great way to timeline out what tasks you need to complete in your day. Pomodoro timers. Now this is something that I want to check out more this month because I see so much, many people in the comments talk about Pomodoro timers and I get a lot of emails about what I recommend Pomodoro timers. Now I do have a few recommendations. Be Focus Pro is a good one. Uh, it's on Mac and iPhone. Uh, there's a couple of others, uh, but I want to sort of make a top 10 Pomodoro apps video for you guys. So I don't want to reveal too many now. So another thing that's weird in this month is that I really have minimized my calendar. 
One thing that I never thought I'd do is actually strip out these blocks of time that I've been doing and just have events or meetings. Now these events or meetings just basically help me to see all of the events and meetings I have instead of seeing these big block of time which I'm spending stuff on. I felt like Todoist was doing a good job with me um, in terms of being able to chronologically order my activities and meetings and things like that. So I sort of stripped my calendar bare almost. Um, I'll show a screenshot now. Um, and what's cool about that is that I've got a lot more freedom on my calendar. Now, those who don't know, I use Calendars 5 on my iPhone um, and I find it very good. They're looking at Calendar 6 very soon, which is quite cool. So if you guys are interested in that, that's great. Um, I use Fantastic Out 2 on the Mac, sorry I got confused then. I use Fantastic Out 2 on the Mac, but I also use the Google Calendar web version as well. It's a really quick solution uh, when I'm browsing in the browser, sorry. So moving on to a few other experiments I'm looking at the moment. I've increased my meditation time in the mornings to like five to 10 minutes instead of three minutes, which I was doing for like a good old month, but now I've like forced myself to get into five, 10 minutes been putting out uh, some more yoga times for myself to do, uh, which is great. So I'm sort of trying to be like, uh, when I was in Barcelona, um, I met up with Amir uh, from Todoist and um, Oliver from Thing Thing. And the one thing that they both said uh, was this more this work-life balance thing. And to be honest, I sort of done a good old review when I came back and sort of saw where I was uh, like wasting time I guess so it's important to do these sort of reviews I guess because like I, I, from that review I was able to pick out like three or four hours a week where I was just unnecessarily spending time anyway that's just something that I picked up on and continually improved in my week review as well but I feel a lot calmer because I'm trying to spend more time on like being able to learn more about myself versus like be too aggressive so I've actually improved my sleep and things like that. So it's given me more time to do like, bit like the quality has it slightly improved. So um, everything's going in the right direction. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of April favorites. Let, let me know in the comments, some of the apps you've been trying out, some of the experiments you've been having, some comments on the productivity corner and books or things you've been reading because I'd love to hear. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe because it's free and I put out regular videos, so there's really no excuses. Uh, anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.